Hi guys, myself from the Hindi school, Michelle Chan, the problem on late code. Hazel cookies. Hazel, you are an awesome parent. You want to give your children some cookies, but you should give each child at least one cookie. So each child has, each child I has a great factor of G of I. Three children are over here, and each child has a great factor of one, two, comma, three, respectively, which is the minimum size of the cookie that the child will be content with, that is one thing. And each cookie J has a size S of G. So there are two cookies of size 1. If S of G is greater than equal to I, you can assign the cookie J to the child I. That means, see we have a cookie of size 1, right? Here if you see to the ch children, only one child has a great factor of cookie with size 1. So we can assign this one to yes. Then the other one, if you see, this other two child is two and three, the cookie size. But it's not available. Only one is available. So you can't satisfy them. That is what I say. S of I multiplied by equal G of A. So your goal is to maximize the number of content children and output the maximum number. So our goal should be maximizing this content. To the children and then satisfying the great factor of the children. So, what we can do is um, we can sort the array first. Here, given uh, examples, the arrays are always sorted, but in the given question, they will say they are in sorted form. So, what we will do is sort both the arrays and let's say two arrays and after sorting, which will be G and it will be S. If is a child having a three factor of one comma two comma three, and cookies are three cookies with size one comma one comma one, other cookie with size two. So how do we solve for In the given question itself, there are two i and j. So i is pointing over here. Okay. This is i, and this is j, and they told s of i, but the S of J, sorry, is it must be greater than or equal to G of I. Okay, question is a pair given the answer actually. So now check whether 1 is greater than or equal to G. And we'll have one variable called count. Is it greater than or equal to G? Yes. So count will be incremented from 0 to 1. So if both are satisfied, okay, we have assigned this one cookie to the first child. So increment both. J will move here and I will move here. Now check whether J, S of J is greater or equal to G of I. Is it? No. One is not greater than equal to two. So at this time, what you do, you are not satisfied with that. It is the size of two. So you check next in the array. Since the array is solved already, the next cookies will be bigger and bigger. Great factor. It won't be smaller. So I can move further. And here J. Now check whether 2 is greater or equal to 2. Yes, it is. So again, count will wake up. Now increment both i and j. So i will move here and j will move here. So now j is out of one. You can stop the array. So either i or j is out of one or the array. You can stop the loop. Because there are no more cookies to satisfy this three. Which means that this the answer is done. If there was only one in the array, there will be something like this situation. This and this will be satisfied. And I will move out of bound and J will move here. So in this case, I is out of bound. So either I and J should, should be given. Both should be lesser than the length of the respective array. So this is how we solve them. So count is to this is the answer. I will write this. So R is down. What are? It puts you to solve G. And similarly, we have to solve S as well. After sorting, we have two variables in i equal to 0 and in j equal to 0. So, y, i less than g dot length and condition g1 and s less than j less than s dot length. Now, to check if S of i, S of j, if it is greater than or equal to g of i. If so, then we will have one variable called in content children. 
So now we should be incremented content children plus plus if it satisfies and i also should be incremented and j anyhow should be incremented either it matches condition or does not matter j will be incremented always because see here in this case one is not greater than equal to two we didn't implement i but incremented j that's all at last we have to return content children Okay. Yeah, if you understood the problem, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll find another video in the next session. Thank you. Thank you.